everyone, I'm back again with another video, and this is going to be a video of the Customize Your Mac series. Now keep in mind that these videos are aimed towards newer Mac users and users who have switched over from other platforms such as Linux and Windows. So in this uh, Customize Your Mac video, we're going to be talking about bookmarks, and I'm going to be using Safari especially for that, but you can use other browsers like Google, Chrome, and Opera if you do, if you want to. So anyway, if you go and you open up uh, Safari, you're going to notice you're, you have your bookmarks bar right here, and then you're going to notice you have your bookmarks tab right there. And also you're going to have your bookmarks in the menu bar up there. We're going to get to that in a second. So first of all, we're going to talk about the bookmarks bar. Now, first of all, if you were to go to the bookmarks uh, tab or whatever you want to call this thing right here, you're going to be concentrating on these two right here. Now basically, what bookmarks is, is kind of like favorites from... Um, it's kind of like favorites from over in Windows. It's essentially like that, but it's not exactly like that. So your bookmarks bar is going to kind of give you all of the sites you go to most. Like for me, I go to YouTube, Google AdSense, and then we have folders. And I'll talk about folders in a second. But anyway, for the basics, if you want to add a bookmark to the bookmarks bar, let's say I want to add just oh, Google.com. And I have Google. I can just go ahead, drag that into my bookmarks bar, name it whatever I want and press OK and it will add it to my bookmarks bar now if you were to go into here you can rearrange them in any way you want so if I wanted that up there in that folder we'll get to that in a second didn't mean to do that if I wanted that up there then you can do that and it's just really cool it's quick access basically and that's pretty awesome so now another cool feature you can do is you can add folders now you can see I already have two folders so I'm just gonna name this one searching for an example and basically what folders do is if you have a lot of bookmarks, then you can organize them. Or if you just want to be organized, you can also do them that way. So you'll notice I have two bookmarks. I have a schools bookmark, which is my high school, and then I have Wikipedia for looking up stuff. And then I have downloads, which I have IMZDL for all of my Apple betas. Now, if I, I labeled this one searching, so I'll put, you know, Google in there. And if I if I have Google in there, then it'll be dragged, uh, drug in there, whatever. And if I were to click on searching, then it drops down drops down drops down and you can pretty much keep all of your bookmarks in an organized fashion now also over here you're gonna notice you have this auto click box uh, over here so if you're the type of person who is really efficient I don't really like it but if you're the type of person who's really efficient I'll do uh, this one but if you come home from school or something and you open up your laptop and you always open up certain tabs you can have auto click on for your bookmarks so we're gonna exit out of Safari real quick open that back up and it goes to my home page now if I were to click this you'd notice that it goes to the one uh, one of them I do but then it also opens another tab for Wikipedia now this is definitely good if you like to be as efficient as possible and always have certain tabs open but it's not always good for everyone so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change that back out of auto click because I like the drop down menu so now going over to the bookmarks menu you can add a whole bunch of different things with the bookmarks menu and this is where the more of the, the ferrets options kinda of come in from windows now basically what this does is you can add any sort of site to here and it won't show up in your bookmarks menu so say it's sites that you don't use as often but you still want to keep uh, favorited or bookmarked or whatever to access them later then you can definitely use this because then they, it won't appear up in here for your bookmarks menu so that's pretty straightforward. There's nothing really doing here. You can still add folders for organization. Let's make this one school again. And we'll add both of these into school because I use both of those sites for school. So anyway, that's pretty straightforward. And guys, that's pretty much the basics of bookmarks. If you guys would like to see more in-depth of bookmarks, then you guys can go ahead and, you know, send me an email or something. Uh, I'll, I could get more into it, but that's the basics of it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in another video. All right, guys, see you later.